welcome back. I uh, I have turned out the resolution down a little bit, so hopefully it won't lag. I mean, I don't really need to play in uh, such a high resolution. I mean, the game still looks awesome. <laughs> it does. And I'm not in even rendering in such a resolution, so yeah, that's just unnecessary. Hmm, kind of want to get up there. Ah, fuck it. I mean, there's a manic in there or something. Ah, whatever. Yeah, at this point you have to raise the water level, and you have to do it by turning on a turning on a valve thing. Ha ha. There we go. I think they're called valves. Yeah, they're called valves. Alright. See if I can find this motherfucker. Oh god damn it, more of them. Ah Let's just fuck him. Oh my god. Haha, you can't swim. Ugh, I need air. Uh there we go. So yeah, I have to get over there. And as you can see, there's some stuff at the bottom. So the thing is, this is another little puzzle thing. The thing is, you can break the the planks so that stuff can float to the surface. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, oh, there we go. So we can stand on them. Yeah, there we go. Not such a hard puzzle. I mean, this isn't really a puzzle game. It's an action game. If you want, if you want to play a puzzle game, you you should go play Portal and Portal 2, which are two other games I probably will make Let's Play of. Also, because I love those games. One of my favorite games. Half-Life 2 and Portal 2, probably the best games ever made. And God damn it! Ah! Uh. Come on. Oh shit, I don't have any ammunition left. I have six. Six shots left. That sucks. There we go. Some ammunition. Oh, goddamn. Yes, I know I look beautiful, but you don't have to take my picture all the time. Ah! These are probably the worst video game enemies of all time. Or at least the top five. I hate man hacks. I really do. I think all of you agree with me who have played this game. Man hacks are bitches. Yeah, here's another lambda symbol. Wow. But I don't think you get the thing if you're not going here. There we go. Now we got the lambda symbol. And I like in the source engine that they have like they put like crap everywhere. Like how it would look like in a real real world with this dirty Apocalyptic place, like there's a crap everywhere. It's it's awesome. Ew, nasty. Kind of looks like my room. Yeah, and I think this stuff is, yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah, good for you. Hey, you're Freeman, aren't you? Yeah. We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the Can't we change the channel? I'm gonna listen to something me. else. Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. Better get going now. Alright. Uh, these boxes are like uh, infinite ammunition boxes uh, for the submachine gun. You see, indicating there. 
and they are like different ones. There's like infinite ammunition for rocket launcher, pistol, yeah, here. everything. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. I have to explain certain things. Yeah, this definitely looks like my room. Oh, damn! Those things are just mean. I think the combine are like, like ah, they're like ah. They are uh, deploying these rocket things. I don't know what the hell it is, but yeah, and they're containing head crabs, so they like purposely infect areas with head crabs, turning people into ah, uh, turning people into zombies. Oh no, that's a human. Yeah, let's put him out of his misery. Uh. Oh shit. Ah, owned. Huh. Yeah, if a, if a human get one of these things on their head, they will turn into zombies, these things. And you remember them from the first Half-Life, they were in there too. And I think the head crabs... Actually, I don't know if they're from... They're from the Zen dimension, or if they are from the Combine uh, dimension. I think they're from the Zen dimension because they are they are in Half-Life One, Two, where only Zen creatures are like. Yeah, so I think they're from Zen, kind of like parasites from Zen. Shit, you're not supposed to touch this sparkling wire. It's still lagging a bit, I think. God damn it. That's gotta be traps, I think. Shit. Yeah. Might have to live with it. So yeah, you see this container is like electrified from the wiring and stuff. So don't touch the... The slides, you will... Ah! Yeah, you saw. Oh. Fuck this, let's just go. Oh man. Nasty. Oh, here's the airboat. What the hell? Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've uh, that off. was weird. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. Right. It's gonna be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. Sure, you'll I find will. Find more help up at Station Seven. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Roger. Come on in. Fire her up. So yeah, this is like the first vehicle you're piloting in this game. Half-Life 2 actually have pi piloted the vehicles like this one. It's kind of awesome. So yeah, at this point we have gotten the... Whoa, oh my god. We got to the airboat and we are trying to get to Eli's lab by driving through these canals. And yeah, you can see, I'm I'm, I'm kind of exposed to the combines now, so... Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be hard. Damn lag. Yeah, you can both drive on land or water or, yeah, toxins, puke, vomit, things. Kind of look like the vomit from a, from a night out. <laughs> nice. And there we go. I mean, look at this. It's a fucking uh, oven. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And I think this this airboat has a flashlight too, for the dark areas. Yeah, you see, flashlight. Water hazard. Next chapter. Oh, here's a half-life symbol. I mean, I'm not really trying to get all of the Half-Life symbols, it's more like I'm, you know... Whenever you see one, it's a good thing to explore. Because there's... And here's G-Man, you can see G-Man over there. And that's like, what the fuck? You know, the man from the... little sequence there at, at the beginning? And you're like, what the fuck, what's he doing here? So yeah, in both, in both Half-Life 1 and 2, you can see G-Mans at the points of the game. And... 
I mean, you don't really know who it is. Uh, he just pops up randomly. And yeah. And in the first Half-Life, you, you see him like in the beginning. Uh, and at places throughout the game and at the end of the game. Uh, then he's like offering you a job or something after you kill the boss from the first game. Um, so yeah, if you accept, uh, if you accept and take the job, you are put like in a suspension, and you are in a suspension for like ten years. So Half Life Two starts exactly ten years after the end of Half Life One, and like Gordon haven't changed at all. He hasn't even aged. So yeah, that that's really weird. Like Demon have put you in a, some kind of artificial suspension thing. So weird. I mean, and you have no idea who it is, who who he is. If he's human or like just in your imagination or yeah, it's so weird. I mean, some people think that Gordon is have like schizophrenia and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I oh my god, there's the shopper. Uh, I uh, I actually have no idea. I don't really know what I think. God damn it, lag. I personally, uh, I don't think he has schizophrenia because, oh, uh, because in Half-Life Episode 2, uh, I might not, yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna say, uh, Eli, he actually explains that he also sees the G-Man, so yeah, that's not just in Gordon's head. But I, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the video here, so yeah, this will be enough for this chapter. Bye-bye.